Hello friends, what a beautiful day to go back into the treehouse and spend some time together. Today, we are going to talk about dogs. We have some great stories about dogs. We're going to see an artist who takes some amazing dog photographs and we're going to have a really fun time. Hi, I'm Miss Mo from the Wichita Children's Theater and Dance Center. Let's get started here in the treehouse having a fun dog filled day. Do you have a dog? Dogs are very popular. They are great pets. People who have dogs do a lot to take care of their dogs. They buy them dog treats and dog toys. They have leashes for them so they can take them on dog walks because dogs really need their exercise and they like to go on walks. Some people, for little dogs, even have strollers that they can put their dogs in. Or they can carry dogs in a bag if it's a tiny little dog. Being a good pet owner means taking care of your dogs. Like making sure they have plenty to eat and drink. Dogs like to play. You can throw balls and ch they will chase them and bring them back. They like to run around, and they like to snuggle and be good friends. Baby dogs are called puppies, and they are so cute. We're going to read about two different dogs today. Both of them are dogs that have to get clean, because dogs do like to get dirty sometimes. Our first book is called A Dog's colorful day and this is a book about a dog but also about colors and about counting so let's get started this is dog as you can see dog is white with one black spot on his left ear at breakfast time dog sits under the table as usual splat a drip of red jam lands on his back. Now dog has two spots. After breakfast, dog runs outside. He slips past the man painting the front door. Splish! His tail dips into the blue paint. Now dog has three spots. Dog runs to the park and rolls on the grass. Squash! The grass makes a green stain on his white coat. Now Dog has four spots. Dog follows a little boy eating chocolate. Squish! The boy gives Dog a chocolatey pat, but no chocolate. Chocolate is not good for dogs to eat. Now dog has five spots. A bee buzzes up to see what is going on. So wish the bee drops yellow pollen as it flies by. Pollen is the part of the flower that bees collect when they go inside of a flower and that pollen goes to another flower and helps pollinate it so we keep getting flowers. So bees are really important to keep our flowers alive. Now dog has six spots. Dog trots through the park. Splosh! A drop of pink ice cream lands on his right ear. Now dog has seven spots. Time to go home. Dog runs up the street. Splash! A bouncing ball splatters dog with gray mud. Now dog has 
eight spots in front of the gate. Dog steps on a carton of orange juice. Splurt. A patch of orange appears on his leg. Now dog has nine spots. Dog races back inside the house and knocks right into Vicky. Silly dog. Vicky's purple marker leaves a smudge on dog's head. Now dog has ten spots. Vicky looks down at dog and counts his colorful spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Vicky looks more closely. Dog has a red spot of jam, a blue blob of paint, a green stain of grass, a brown smear of chocolate, a yellow patch of pollen, a pink drop of ice cream, a gray splatter of mud, an orange splash of juice, a purple smudge of ink, and of course, his own black spot on his left ear. You need a bath, dog. When dog climbs into bed, he has just one black spot on his left ear. Good night, dog. What a colorful day you've had. We can hear all kinds of colors and all kinds of really fun sounds in this story. So I have my big dog here and we're going to add our colors back to him and see if you can remember what makes each spot. So, our first spot comes with the word splat. Can you say splat? And it is red. Do you remember what makes the red spot? He has a red spot right here. What makes that red spot? That's right, it's jam. So now he's got one spot on his ear and one spot on his back of red from jam. He has two spots. Our next spot is blue. And this, the sound that he made when he got this spot was splish. Can you say splish? What made this little blue spot on his tail? Can you remember? That's right. He dipped his tail in a can of blue paint. So now we have three spots. One on his ear. That's black. We have a black dot on his ear. A red dot of jams. That's two. And a blue dot of paint. That's three. So we say splat and splish. And now we go rolling and we get this green spot. Squash. Can you say squash? What made this big squashy green spot? Do you remember? Was he rolling in the grass? So now we have one, two, three, four spots. And we have said the fun words splat. Splish and squash. All right. Next comes this brown spot. Squish is how we got the brown spot. What did the brown spot come from? Do you remember? Did it come from some chocolatey hands? That's right. So we have our black spot. One, two, three, four, and five. And let's say our fun words. We have splat and splish and squash and squish. The kinds of kind of rhymes. Next spot is our yellow spot. Here's our yellow spot. We get a yellow spot by saying swish. 
Do you remember what flew through the air and dropped this yellow spot? Was it a bee? That's right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six spots. And let's say our words again. We're going to say splat and splish and squash and squish and swish. What fun words. Next, we have a pink spot. How did Dot, how did Dog get this pink spot on his ear? Do you remember? Was it from a drop of pink ice cream that said splosh? So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's say all of our fun words. We have splat, splish, squash, squish, swish, splosh. And now we have our gray spot. How did Dog get this gray spot back here by his leg? Do you remember there was a bouncing ball that bounced in the mud and said, Splash! Splash is how we have this gray spot of mud on dog. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dots of color on our dog. Let's say our fun words again. Can you remember? Splat! Splish, squash, squish, swish, splosh, splash. Now we have a teeny tiny orange spot. Do you remember how Dog gets this orange spot on his leg? It was a splurt of orange juice, right? So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spots. And let's go back and say all of our fun color words. We have a splat of jam, a splish of paint, a squash of grass, a squish of chocolate, a swish of pollen, a splosh of ice cream, a splash of mud, and a splurt of orange juice. And now we have our very last spot, a purple spot that goes right on Dog's head. How did he get that purple spot? Did he run into Vicky's marker? And Vicky accidentally put marker on his head. So let's count one last time. One black dot. Let's say our fun words while we count this time. We have two, a splat of red jam. Three, a splish of blue paint. Four, a squash of green grass. Five, a squish of dark brown chocolate. Swish, a yellow spot of pollen from a bee. And that was number six. Seven, a splosh of pink ice cream. Eight, a splash of gray mud. Nine, a splurt of orange juice. And ten, silly dog, a purple marker. Now Dog has to take a bath, so we're going to clean off all his spots. They're all going away in the bath.
bathtub. Scrub, 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 scrub. And when he's all clean, how many spots does he have left? One black spot on his ear. When you're done watching this video, down below in the comments, you can print off your own dog like this and you can color in all the spots. If you need to, you can come back and watch the video and see what color the different spots go and see if you can remember what made those colors. Or you can make up your own colors and your own things that might have made those spots on dog. What a fun story. We're going to talk about an artist today named William Wegman. William Wegman studied to be an art to be a painter and he knows how to paint but the artwork that he is most famous for is photography photography of course are pictures and photographs and it is an art form William Wegman got a dog and this dog was called a Weimaraner Weimaraner. And a Weimaraner is a German hunting dog. They're sometimes called a silver ghost because they're gray and silver and they're kind of tall and they're good hunting dogs. So William Wegman got his first Weimaraner dog. His name was Man Ray and he had this dog for 12 years and started taking pictures of him dressed up and in different scenes and they became extremely popular. They were so popular that you can find sometimes pictures of William Wegman's dogs on Sesame Street and on Nickelodeon and he's written lots of books with the pictures of his dogs in them including books where his dogs are dressed up as Cinderella or as Little Red Riding Hood, or in Mother Goose, or in just books about farming, or puppies, or animals. He's just used his dogs in so many great pictures. Do you know that there are some dogs that can work very hard to help people? There are dogs that can work for police and firemen. They can help rescue people. Dogs have a great sense of smell, so they can sniff and try to find things. Dogs can be used to help people who might be stuck on a mountain. And dogs can also be used to help people with disabilities people who may be blind or may have trouble walking or other have other disabilities dogs are very helpful and have been known to help people stay calm they're very loyal and they're very strong so not only are dogs good friends and good pets they can also be good workers and they're very smart dogs can also be taught to do lots of great tricks and fun things as well as important work jobs. Okay, we have one more story and this story is called Harry the Dirty Dog. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except getting a bath. Now a lot of dogs do not like to get baths. So one day, when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush and buried it in the backyard, and then he ran away from home. He played where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. He played tag with other dogs and became dirtier still. And he slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. Although there were many other things to do, 
Harry began to wonder if his family thought he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry, too. So without stopping on the way, he ran back home. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. One of the family looked out and said, There's a strange dog in the backyard. Um, by the way, has anyone seen Harry? When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them he was Harry. He started to do his old clever tricks. He flip-flopped, and he flop-flipped. He rolled over and played dead. He danced and sang. He did these tricks over and over again, but everyone shook his head and said, Oh, no, that can't be Harry. Harry gave up. He walked slowly toward the gate, but suddenly he stopped. He ran to the corner of the garden and started to dig furiously. Soon he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy barks. He found the scrubbing brush and carried it in his mouth into the house. Up the stairs he dashed with the family following close behind. He jumped into the bathtub and sat up, begging, with the scrubbing brush in his mouth, a trick he had certainly never done before. This little doggie wants a bath, cried the little girl. And her father said, well, why don't you and her, your brother give him one? Harry's bath was the soapiest one he had ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy, Daddy, look, look, come quick. It's Harry, it's Harry, they cried. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly, and he once again became a white dog with black spots. It was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly, he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush that he had hidden under his pillow. The end. So both our dogs today, Harry and Dog, got very dirty, one with lots of colors and one with lots of dirt, and both had to take baths, and both fell asleep at the end, didn't they? very happy to be home. I hope you had fun today. Those were a couple fun stories and I enjoyed talking about all the colorful spots and the fun sounds on dog. I hope you make a fun dog picture and you can also go to our children's theater website for another dog principal. I hope you can see some other pictures of William Wegman's dogs. They're so fun in dressing up and it's a really cute way to study dogs. I'm Miss Mo with the Wichita Children's Theater and Dance Center. We can't wait to see you again and we hope you're having a wonderful summer. Goodbye for now.